Join Me is the number one recycled item in America today. Steel is the most recycled item, more than paper, more than plastic, more than aluminum, and more than copper. And why is that important? It's this pile behind me. That's the beginning to the manufacturing here in America today. It's this material that's the raw material that begins the manufacturing by making the rebar needed to make a manufacturing plant. The manufacturing plant is reliant on a strong foundation. Which will be reliant on recycled steel here in America. In season one and season two of Repurpose, we focused on recycled steel like you see in this pile here. But now I'm going to talk about another commodity, just as valuable as recycled steel, and that's recycled aluminum. This is where it all begins, in a recycled materials facility like Sierra, all across the United States, that provide the raw material to all the different mills to make all the different new metals needed for the automotive industry. In America, there's approximately, and this varies year to year, 15 million automobiles sold in America. Could you make 15 million automobiles in America without the recycled aluminum industry? I'm here in Troy, Missouri. Today we're going to talk about recycled aluminum. Currently I don't think you can make one automobile without recycled aluminum. No, not the cans. We're going to talk about the 80 million pounds of aluminum. It amazes me how much is coming into this facility and being transformed. That is recycled and made into cylinder heads each year here at this plant behind me. Cylinder heads, of course, what we make, but uh, engine blocks, transmission cases, transmission housings, there are some suspension parts. Where are we at? We're at the Toyota Missouri plant that makes cylinder heads for your favorite Toyotas, like the Camry, like the Tundra. And this, this is Repurpose Season 3. ourselves on making a good product that the customers want to buy and, and taking care of our, our team here in the plant and here in the community. So if I go to my local Toyota dealership, right? And I go to and I'm looking at a Tundra or a Sequoia or whatever. And I pop that hood, and I look in it. The likelihood of that head being made here is pretty, pretty high, right? Absolutely. That's really cool. Because for me to see it, it comes from recycled aluminum. And so the aluminum features that you see in here, again, all made with recycled aluminum. You know, I'm in the recycled materials industry and our industry is the raw material supplier because without us... I had no idea that you could not make the aluminum components for a motor block, uh, cylinder heads for virgin aluminum. 
you already said virgin bauxite. Alumina is very is expensive, it, yeah. So, you know, our industry is really where we work together. We have a, an incredible relationship because without us, these automobiles aren't getting made. So the significance of aluminum in the automotive industry worldwide is incredible, probably greater than most people even know. Absolutely. Could you make 15 million automobiles in America without the recycled aluminum industry? Currently, I don't think you could make one automobile without recycled aluminum. Um, automotive is a huge driver of jobs and industry in, in our nation, and not one vehicle that's made in the U.S. is made without recycled aluminum at this point. We're here at the Bill Wright Toyota dealership here in Bakersfield, California. They're uh, the premier Toyota dealership here in the Central Valley. Yeah, you know, years ago when, when you'd go and you'd look at automobiles, you weren't sure what you wanted, you know, they'd, you'd go into a dealership and they'd sell you on the quality of the car, the horsepower, the safety features. Automatic transmission, V8 engine, radio, power steering, beautiful car, buy it! What I have not seen in the sales of automobiles is the fact that the automobile, like the Toyotas, are made from recycled materials. They are one of the greenest manufacturers in America today. You know, most people are familiar with the blue bin um, because it's, it deals with household recyclables. And aluminum cans get a lot of spotlight, and that's great. Meet Timmy, just your average American kid, saving the world one can at a time. With a wagon full of cans and a cape on his back, Timmy's become Captain Aluminum. But let's be honest, recycling cans is cute. But what people don't realize is the second largest purchase that they're probably going to make in their life, an automobile, is actually being made from recycled metals. It's the recycled metals industry that makes the real difference. No smelters, no mills, no automobiles. So yes, Timmy, good job with the can. But now you know, it's more than cans. You get a real bond with these people because you share a commonality. We're constantly looking at ways to more efficiently use materials. A commonality of wanting to save the environment. How important sustainability is to Toyota. Our industries might not look clean from the outside, but what we do for the environment is incredible. Well, the, the original aluminum or the virgin aluminum from bauxite is really expensive. It's basically pure aluminum. We're, we're using an alloy, so we would have to take that pure aluminum and add a lot of components to it. In the recycling of aluminum, we can buy stuff that's near the right alloy. By using recycled aluminum that Toyota does, to make their motor blocks, their cylinder heads, and their transmission houses. They are saving 90 percentile of CO2 emissions versus using virgin aluminum. That includes light weighting our vehicles, improving the performance of our vehicles, and also increasing the recycled content of our vehicles. Aluminum allows us to use a high percentage of recycled content in our vehicles. How important it is to reduce the carbon footprint because they believe in a cleaner mother earth. Lightweighting is super important because you get more miles per gallon, right? Absolutely. So if recycled aluminum is reducing the carbon footprint and energy consumption, but isn't lightweighting also reducing the carbon footprint? Yeah, it absolutely is. 
and through their manufacturing process and the components they choose to use to build their automobiles, they are doing just that. They don't just talk it. The lighter material you can use without doing anything else, the more efficient your car is. You can see it in actual application. What are these alloys, in, in a particular alloy, what, what's in it other than aluminum? What other components are in that? What other chemistry, if you will? Silicon, copper, uh, magnesium, manganese, iron, a little nickel, but uh, t 10 or so different elements to make the alloy. And especially aluminum in vehicles, you reduce the overall carbon footprint of the vehicle significantly because it takes a lot of energy to process virgin aluminum. It takes less energy to process recycled aluminum. The recycled materials industry, we are the main suppliers of these raw materials that they use to build these cars. You know, aluminum and recycled aluminum are so important that I don't think the automotive industry would exist if we didn't have the resources that we have and the access that we have to recycled aluminum. You know, across the globe, we're moving towards a carbon neutrality commitment by 2050 of, you know, carbon neutrality and nature positive. And we can't do that without recycled aluminum. We can't do it without recycled content. You know, aluminum is traded on the London Metal Exchange, okay? It's not junk, it's not waste, it's not trash. This is a traded commodity. And recycled aluminum is a highly traded, highly valuable commodity that is traded daily because recycled aluminum is needed in the U.S. auto industry. Because without it, you don't make transmission housings, you don't make motor blocks, you don't make cylinder heads. And when you think about it, Recycled aluminum is truly driving the U.S. automotive industry because you cannot have light weighting. Light weighting, what does it do? It saves miles per gallon. And what does that do? It saves carbon emissions. I'm here with Bo Shepard, General Manager of the Service Department here at Bill Wright Toyota in Bakersfield, California. And Bo, you want to show me underneath this car? Sure. Because we want to point out all the stuff made from aluminum because that's coming from recycled aluminum. All right. First, we obviously have the engine, the heads and the block that are. And then up front, we have the front differential housing here. And then if you come back, you've got the transmission that's here. This transmission housing, this is pretty big, this transmission. And all of this is made from recycled aluminum because virgin aluminum doesn't have the alloys for the toughness. This transmission needs to stay together. You know, they say without recycled aluminum, you can't build Toyotas. The transfer case on the back of the transmission here. And then if you come back, then the whole drive line's actually made out of aluminum also. In the old days, this would be steel, right? Yes. Now, is this, this is the light weighting mm -hmm. uh, of, of the automobile, and the light weighting allows for what? Lighter weight, gonna give you better fuel economy and performance of the truck. If this was all made from cast iron and, and steel, how much more weight would you approximate, that you, would you? Over 500 pounds if you went that way, versus aluminum, I'm sure. Yeah. It, it, at least, I mean, and probably, couple hundred pounds just in the block. Oof. No wonder that, you know, you see these miles per gallons going up, the light weighting is so important. And aluminum helps drive that light weighting. Yeah. And by using recycled aluminum, this is another great important fact about recycled aluminum. It reduces carbon emissions by 95%, saves energy consumption of about 95% compared to virgin aluminum. So the recycled aluminum not only is driving down CO2 emissions, reducing energy consumption, it's also in the light weighting of vehicles for increasing its miles per gallon, which reduces CO2 emissions. So recycled aluminum plays a major role in the U.S. auto industry, plays a major role in our environment because it reduces the emissions when it is remelted and repurposed. on the next episode of Repurposed.
People know, well, what do you do with recycled aluminum? Where is it going? Well, it's going to your new Toyota. This is incredible. Right next door to a motor plant. Recycled aluminum is being transformed. They bring their supplier right next door to them. The auto industry in America truly depends on the recycled materials industry because the aluminum that you just saw being transported in a crucible, that ladle's full of 3,000 pounds of molten aluminum. <laughs>